and we do have the two of swords and the six of swords somebody here is thinking of walking away um this is the energy of you know what i am done with the drama and i want to let leave the drama behind right that's the six of swords this is i'm done with the tormented waters can i please have some peace of mind you know kind of a contemplation and in the same time it's a little bit of manifestation you know we start to see and we start to manifest i know we've been confused two of swords and the moon for some of you, you need to decide something about a pisces person you are connecting with but this is also the energy of confusion um that we've been through um deep emotions uh painful emotions and with the two of swords it's like let me get my mind straight here two of swords is like you know what i have to see clearly through um emotions deep emotions um two of swords three of pentacles i love this this is you know what i want partnership i'm done with the crazy passionate love i want somebody i can build um a life with right somebody who will understand and respect me appreciate my skills uh the uh the person i am and hell yeah we want to heal a bit of, a, a bit a little ten of swords in reverse yeah we need some healing leo here okay so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time it can be your energy it can be theirs five of swords in reverse we are done fighting queen of swords we want to come to this relationship from a place of mind and clarity right and we have your own energy the strength and we do have the eight of swords releasing and moving forward towards your happiness i love this i know has been a hassle ten of swords again um somebody hurt you really bad leo right and we are ready to let go here five of swords queen of swords um it starts with the mind kind of the universe is kind of saying you know what your strength you show up here your strength and your inner courage comes from the clarity of the mind and we've been fighting that mind uh, leo with the five of swords we've been fighting it and probably pushing away all the uh, clarity moments we had clinging on the person maybe and now we have eight of swords in reverse we release and we move on with the chariot now it's a good time of course the decision is yours um but the happiness comes with moving forward the cancer energy the chariot energy for some of you might be a cancer involved um coming your way um but i'm more sensing this is your energy of freedom because the mind is free and when the mind is free the body is free to move on and um, um you know and have a sense of um, peace but let's see before we jump to conclusions let's see let's start with recent past energies or energies we need to deal with so this is your side the person you are dealing with and mutual or the energy of the connection depending on the messages we receive your energy current energy your person and mutual and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck the high priestess in reverse we've been silent and now it's time to talk right it is time for some um hierophant energy self-commitment or commitment to um you know only speak the truth stay in the truth um share the truth for some of you and high priestess is the higher self is yourself right so i love this energy anyway so let's see in the past we do have the king of cups in reverse and the star in reverse um of course aquarius pisces cancer uh, scorpio energy but i'm sensing leo this is your energy and this is the energy of emotional struggle we've been we've had enough it is the energy of feeling lost um with the star in reverse no guidance feeling lost no higher guidance um no light at the end of the tunnel right that's also another energy with the uh, with the star card and a lot of emotional confusion 
for some of you overwhelming emotions it's been hard um uh to say the least right um we have the five of swords we saw the ten of swords a couple of times so um big struggle for this um love connection and somehow uh, when I see the star card is um, also the um, the energy of, um, you know, when somebody is the light of your eyes, right? Or your sight, right? What you see. Not what you see, but I mean, the the core of, um, of what um, somebody represents to you, right? This is, uh, they've been the, a star to us, right? The person. And then... Um, you know, it came with a lot of, or it became, the situation became, in some way, emotionally struggling to you. But still a major arcana. Now this person of yours, um, recent past, ten of swords, extremely hurt, either by what happened, um, either physically um, carrying a struggle of their own, and um, probably they cut the cord in some way, king of swords, he doesn't have time for nonsense, right? Um, and he's like, you know, I need my peace of mind. I need my clarity. This is not where I want to be. And, um, and they've decided, you know what, healing is the only way um, I can continue this journey. And um, this is probably what they did. That is, of course, legal um, matters with it. And that is a sense of, um, of legalities and divorces and going to court and that kind of energy. Um, and in the process, again, hurt just as much with the Ten of Swords, right? And I would say a lot of kings here, I might be picking up the energy of same um, sex um, commitment, marriage, um, but can also be the energy, your energy, their energy showing up as very masculine, as we all have masculine and feminine within us. Mutual energy is between the two of you in the past, we do have the moon and um, the king of pentacles so you know a bit of um unspoken truth right we know the moon is all about hidden it's all about emotions it's all about um maybe inappropriate communication because of confusion or because of um um i would say volatility of of things right um and also instability i would they are safe for some of you. King of Pentacles in reverse um, might have been financial issues, financial problems. Um, one was stable, one was unstable, one was emotionally uh, dealing with stuff, one was financially dealing with stuff. So um, probably when this connection ended, Leo, we are not in a good place. Um, actually, I would say the moon and king of um, um, cups in reverse is a lot of emotions and probably um, because of I, I, I would dare say <laughs> a lot of fighting and um, with the five of swords eight of swords a lot of mental prison seeing obstacles all over the place and and, um, and a sense of uh, wanting to break free because at the end of the day Leo your overall energy is the chariot right just running uh, places where we can have peace of mind um, it's a little bit what shows up here. They might have met you with a lot of uh, coldness lately with the King of Swords. Um, but it was kind of a self-protection um, uh, way for them, right? It's really close to the Ten of Swords. Well, where are we right now? Uh, Leo, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things are not moving, but I do love the page of cups for you this is the energy where we are open right to a new emotional experience this is the page of cups page of cups is something new um, it comes with a new cycle um, in terms of emotional life it comes with a sense of adventure and openness it comes with communication uh, being open you know it comes with the energy of let me see what's out there with the page of cups but still the wheel of fortune in reverse kind of the universe bringing a little bit of obstacles there and saying i know you want things to get flowing and moving but for now we are going to stand a little bit still and probably this is where you are right now for so many reasons first of all five of swords right we go back to the overall energy 
Five of Swords, we have conflicted about something. We don't know 100%. We have doubts. Um, this is also the energy of should I fight or not, right? Should I keep going or should I let it go? And the Eight of Swords in reverse. So we have energies to clear out still. Uh, but it's beautiful to see the Page of Cups. This is I might be willing to open up a bit there. Now this person of yours. Um, well, they are resisting this new beginning. Uh, we do have the uh, the full in reverse. It is, um, like it or not, it is a new beginning for both of you in some way. And um, it's the same energy as yours, right? The full in reverse. No, I don't want a new beginning. They don't want somebody else. And we do have the page of wands. You have the page of cups. They have the page of wands. You have... The universe telling you we are not done with this cycle just yet. We have like bits and pieces to attach and they uh, don't want to start a new beginning. So this is, I mean, complete mirroring there. Um, so they are still passionate about you. That is still with a page of wands. That is still a desire to communicate. That is still a desire, you know, to see where this can lead. This is also, again, new beginnings, right? You might be opening up to new emotional experiences. This person of yours uh, is looking for a little bit of passionate shakeup in some way, right? And again, it's I don't want a new beginning, but still, they open up to, um, um, to something that has to come their way after the Ten of Swords, right? Because life is a... Um, you know, a sum up of, of cycles. Mutual energies between the two of you. And that's interesting. We have pages all over the place, um, Leo. And we know pages are about communication. Pages are about new beginnings, adventure, trying out. Um, it's still young in terms of energies, but it is a beginning. of, And there are a lot of new beginnings here. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, all of them upright. So mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We know the situation is a bit unstable, but that is an offer on the table, right? Page of Pentacles. This is, I want to talk to you. Uh, we still can build something, both of you being convinced of that, you know. And um, what if we start over? It's a, it's a strong energy of I don't want anything else but this um, connection, Leo. That is an energy of clinging on to this. And you do this, they do this. Um, despite the unstable situation, this, despite the, um, you know, Six of Pentacles, you know, yeah, it's out of balance, but it's also lack of decisions. It is also, um, maybe you are not very kind to each other at this time, but the underlying theme here is I want to talk to my Leo and you want to talk to them, so. Um... Moving forward, we do have the Ten of Wands in reverse. We put the burdens down um, and we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Again, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of um, might be a new beginning, but still now it's not the time. But I would say um, if, if that is a movement that you want, I would say no, it's um, probably not quite the time just yet. Um, but it is a good time to put the burdens down and have a new perspective on this. And um, it's the energy of unwinding despite the confusion, despite of uh, waiting for a new beginning. It's still a good time to just let go of something. I honestly believe it was very harsh for you. They have the Ten of Swords in reverse in the past. Uh, coming your way, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So both of you, you have to let go of um, of something, of an ending of some sort, um, of a betrayal of some sort, of a cycle of some sort. Both of you need to end somehow as a very painful cycle uh, before we can have all these offerings, right? And we need to accept and move forward to uh, this happiness coming your way. I'm just saying that it's kind of like the universe asking to both of you uh, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, right? To be a little bit clear and specific about what you want. To come from a place of mind um, and um, intentionally. That's, that's the energy here. Intentionally ending something painful and moving towards new offerings. 
on a new beginning can be with the same person, can be with a different. Now this person of yours, Leo, they wait for you with an offer. We do have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the energy of choosing. This is intentional, and intentional energy of investment in something and expecting, right? Um, ships to come home. This is the energy of uh, vision and developing a vision and this new beginning of yours. They do not want to let go, right? They see a new cycle with you. Mutual energy is between the two of you, um, Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, you know how it feels. It feels like the universe is asking you to uh, maybe be less defensive, maybe stop fighting against something and just be yourself and be passionate and allow yourself this passion. For some of you, this is um, guidance for you. Just be yourself. You show up twice here, uh, the strength and the queen of wands, right? So we know the whole situation is somehow about you, right? And, um, and accepting a new beginning of some sort, allowing a new beginning of some sort, and this person, yes, they come from a place of hurt, but they mean well. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, right? That is a sense of passion. And that is a sense of Ace of Pentacles is, I don't know where this is going, but I'm willing to give you the investment card. You know, I'm willing to invest in this. I'm willing to take it step by step and move, and move slow. Um... That is also an energy, Leo, for uh, this person of yours. They have the fool in reverse. I might be full. I might be reckless. I might be impulsive. But I'm passionate about you. You know, that is another message here. But again, I believe somebody here, you might be dealing, Leo, with somebody who is um, impulsive and a little bit all over the place. And Page of Pentacles is really the energy of groundiness and, and step by step. Again, a little bit like the, um, the Ace of Pentacles, right? This is also the energy of this is all that I have and I'm giving it to you. Um, so they might be coming from that place too. Um, yeah. But they still believe it's possible. I'm not sure your energy. I, I believe you've been so hurt. Um, um, King of Cups in reverse is again a lot of emotional struggles. And I'm, I'm sure you've been so hurt that the world stopped. That's the energy that I'm feeling here, right? The whole world stopped. And um, and coming your way is the energy of self-care. Ten of Wands is the energy of you are caring too much. It's about time we cut loose some some of the uh, some of the burdens, right? So I'm sensing on your side this energy of self-care. This energy of this is me time, and um, I want my happiness back, please, right? This is Leo manifesting. Um, Ten of Cups. So, um, now Leah, let's ask for some guidance. I'm using Romance Angels. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have one flipping by itself. So it says it is safe for you to love Leo. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's safe to love this person. We have reconciliation. So you had a connection with this person and now the universe is saying it's okay to reconcile. And it's interesting, bottom of the deck is, so reconciliation, someone from the past is returning to your life. And bottom of the deck is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Probably what's happening right now is that, um, and it's kind of the guidance we ask for, okay, now what, you know? Now that we know all this, and now that we know they want back, what now? And we have, right, separation, reconciliation. It is safe for you to love. So, of course, for my Leos being in separation and having a partner wanting to come back, um, kind of the universe is saying it is safe for you to love, right? What else? Worthiness. And I'm sensing, Leo, this is all the guidance for you know your worth right know that you are worthy of everything right everything good uh for some of you struggling with issues of self-esteem right who am i 
And I'm, we know, right, that divorce, this is what it does, questioning, um, right? Who am I and what am I supposed to have? And, and again, issues of, of self-esteem might be in the play. And the universe is saying, please know your worth, right? Please work on your self-esteem. Appreciate this moment. So for some of you being in a separation, that is something in it that is working in your favor, right? So every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. So that is opportunity in crisis, that's for sure. So appreciate this moment, there are benefits in it. And what else? Love is all around you, Leo. Love is all around you. And when you have reconciliation, it's a strong feeling that somebody comes back with love, a lot of love for you. Um, and for some of you, it can be somebody completely new. So that is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as the truth, right? You need to see it. And we added a place of unwinding and letting go of stuff, so we might not um, be aware. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow, and then we say goodbye. Till the next time. So we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment, right? So we need to bring balance back into the flow and um, harmony without judgment. We do have surrender comparison comparisons with other people. We do not compare. We are all unique in our own way. Um, so keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strength, attractiveness, and power. So this is what we need to bring back into the flow. And I love this even more. We do have balance and now we have peace, Leo. We need to work. And I'm sensing Ten of Wands in reverse is exactly what you are doing uh, moving to, uh, through August. We do have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. I am, this is what you have to tell yourself, right? When, when you manifest peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. We do have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So do not lie to yourself, right? That is very important to be honest with yourself um, and others. And that's energy we need to bring back into the flow. And we do have surrender frustration. So lately you might be frustrated. You went through a lot, so kind of makes sense, right? And something we need to manifest and work on is surrender frustration. So frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, um, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Uh, maybe frustration comes from comparing yourself with other people, right? And, um, well, why do it? You know, that is no point. We are all different in so many ways. And we have different gifts. And that is no uh, similar. Um, well, that is a little bit similar, but identic. Um, there are no two human beings completely identical. So even the twins are different. So I'm just saying. Um, but Leo, it strikes me, know your worth, right? That's the worthiness, know your worth, um, because the pain might come from there. Um, at least the reading is, um, what this is. Um, so Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.